Greetings all you miscreants, both mundane and magical. Lycanthro Keith here, with an introduction to the next part of Shadowrun on the Genesis, because there are a few things I needed to say prior to this video. Number one, there were some audio problems in that the game audio was very soft. I have tried to correct them as much as possible, and hopefully have not overdone my own voice in the process. So, to be advised that I did my best, and hopefully it is adequate enough. Number two, I do not remember before this point if I had done this, but there were occasions through the actual playing of the, of the game where if I ran into an error on the female player mod, specifically a gender pronoun, or a... Uh, this, well, yeah, gender pronoun. Um, I would pause and take a screenshot during the Let's Play, which means occasionally there might be as much as a 45-second stall. It didn't occur to me at the time that I could just go through the video later and get what I needed that way. So, if those have been coming up, and I know for sure they probably will come up in the future, I apologize. I don't really have it in me to take all of them out, so please just bear with me. Um, the last thing is about the length of this video. This is traditionally longer than I wanted to, but as I looked over this video, I realized that so much went together that there really wasn't a good stopping point inside the video. Everything connected to where if I split it in half it would kind of look like I was taking a commercial break, and that just didn't seem to work with the flow. So I decided to opt for a longer episode in this case. Uh, feel free to take it in bite-sized chunks if need be. But in any case, take care of yourselves, enjoy the video, and good luck in whatever malfeasance you may be up to, chummers. So, a couple of things as we start off here. <clears throat> Let me get my notes. Um, first off, um, I solved the conundrum of the uh, SMGs that I wasn't quite up on last time. As it turns out, um, the SMGs that come preloaded with uh, um, gas vents and smart links and such and laser sights that I thought couldn't be modified actually could. Um, it just takes the place of the other one. You don't get anything back for it. Um, so the reason I wanted one particular contact was because he sold a SMG that was supposedly stripped down, had nothing in it. He had uh, the same SMG that is available for sale otherwise, um, just for less. And I picked it up and I experimentally tried it and I don't really see much to recommend it because it fires in three round bursts um, while it has an ostensibly larger clip it's doing a lower amount of damage um, than things like the Predator where you have 15 rounds and guaranteed or near guaranteed armor penetration uh, instead what you get are um, three rounds that maybe will penetrate the armor. And because it's in three round bursts uh, and the maximum SM amount an SMG can hold is 30, you're getting 10 shots that may take someone out versus um, 15 shots that at a high gun skill will. Maybe SMG gets better once you get a higher skill in it, but it's not really something I'm willing to invest in. Uh, so when the time comes, you know, and we have to storm corpse, we'll, uh, we'll be uh, investing in some shotguns. But for right now, I think we're good as we are. Um, the other thing I did just for fun, um, I wandered into Lone Star Headquarters, and they, they arrested me because of all the previous crimes I did, and sentenced me to three days and a $17,500 fine, before putting me back out on the street with all the illegal shit that I had. Yeah. So, you know, I still had the heavy combat armor, I still had the illegal Maglock passkey, uh, Winston still had his shotgun. 
you know, it, it it's a, it's almost like the American justice system at times. But I, but I found that hilarious because I know I murdered uh, you know many people in cold blood. You know, and then there's all the uh, all the shit I did involving like you know couriering courier, couriering packages from one place to another. Um. So let's see. So picking back up on the main story, uh, I just want to see real quick where click. I want to see real real, real quick. I think I was full up on yeah, clips ain't yeah, close enough. And uh, Freya might have picked up a couple, yeah. Yeah, Freya is actually the only one at this point that can pick up any clips because I have a maximum of 20. Um, but the good thing is she can hold on to him for other people. And I have, uh, Freya has the smart goggles, even though I haven't, uh, set them up. Um, because they will come in handy if, uh, uh, well, actually what I might end up doing at some point is taking the Predator and putting a smart link in it. The goggles are not quite as good with the smart goggles. The goggles are not quite as good with the goggles, yeah. The smart link in the gun does not work quite as well with the goggles as it does with the cybernetic one, but um, it's still a step above the laser sight. Okay, so let me uh, take a quick look as to where I want to go here. Okay. Let's see. Um, I have never actually gone to Council Island in the terms of a uh, regular playthrough. So I want to go ahead and do that. And the taxi is not going to take me there without a visa, but fortunately I know a rigger who will. A female voice modulates from the pretty face on the vid. Okay, that's how it works. Sharky here, are you looking for a ride somewhere? Eh, I'd like to procure your services. Need to bypass the Sally Sheet Visa checkpoint? Or maybe you want me to drop you deep in the woods like down by the Sin Sayorak. I also have a stash you may be interested in. Um, let's see. <clears throat> um, I think what I want to do right now is um, get past the Visa checkpoint. I don't think I need to get into the um, Sinciroc until uh, a bit later on. What's the matter? Lone Star record get a little too long? I don't really care as long as I get my payment. I own a chopper, so dropping you past the checkpoint undetected is a bit tricky, but I can do it for 3000 large. Yep. Okay, hot shot. I'll meet you there in 10. Climb aboard and I'll have you there faster than you can say vertical takeoff and land. Should be vertical takeoff and landing, but whatever. She arrives on schedule, and you soon arrive in the wilderness. Okay. So this is the first time I have ever been in uh, the wilderness. And there's a road. So I have absolutely no idea what to expect here, and there's a payphone right out in the middle of the wilderness. Like you do. And a big green waterfall. There's always room for a waterfall of jello. And we have uh, the losers of the Eternal Champions tournament up there. I'm going to guess we follow the, um, the yellow road of dicks. Or something. Yeah, the, yeah. The 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 payphones are millennials. They uh, or uh, the payphones went literally went off the grid. <laughs> so I'm not sure uh, who's what here. So we're gonna have to. 
The hair on the back of your neck rises. You feel like you're being stalked. Hellhounds bound into the clearing and attack. Hellhounds come over the ridge. Oh shit! Bad dog. A group of young Amerindian boys are scouting the terrain in search of something. One warrior looks up. We're looking for an arrowhead. Okay. Eventually you find the arrowhead. The owner reluctantly gives you a 50 New Yen reward. Uh, uh, right after the hellhounds, were the hellhounds trying to find the arrowhead for him? Did, did I kill their hunting hounds? A lone Amer Indian woman is knitting here. She looks up at you and introduces herself as, self as Red Buffalo Woman. Words. I'm afraid I don't get many visitors out here, so I have nothing to offer you. But I wish you well on your journeys. Good day. Okay, well, I mean, I'll take uselessness over hostility. As you enter the tribal council building, a ranger approaches you. His ID tag reads D. Alfeather. How can I help you this fine day? Um, all right, well, we'll get to Michael in a sec, and let's talk about the Inmer Indian lands. Much of the northwestern tribal lands were reclaimed by Amer Indians from many differing tribes. The Sally Sheed Council was formed to control the land that encompasses the blight of Seattle. Well, huh. And the rangers? The Sally Sheed rangers were formed to patrol the wilderness in an attempt to restore and maintain its beauty. The rangers also serve as a kind of police force for the region. Are there any other villages nearby? Neg on that. Most of our people like to wander the land. This Amerindian village was built close to Council Island for trade purposes. All the tribes, with the exception of the Sinsirak, do trade through this area. One of these days I'm going to look it up and see if I'm actually pronouncing that right. Sinserok? The Sinserok are a tribe which consists mostly of xenophobic elves. They've, st they've staked a claim on the land south of here and have erected walls and patrols to keep others out. Um, there is a um, section in uh, the map in Shadowrun called uh, Tir Tengir, which consists mostly of... Um, uh, Oregon, and uh, it's the elven nation on the North American continent. Um, I do remember something about um, the elves originally being welcomed into the Amerindian lands when uh, metahuman persecution started, and then the elves deciding that they were just going to take over part of it. And I think the Amer Indians decided, well, we've already had one fight. I don't feel like it. We don't feel like dealing with another. So, here, just take this and go. Whatever. Uh, tell me about Council Island. The Council Island was established, established by the Sally Sheed Council to put a buffer between those of us who prefer the beauty of nature to the perverse ugliness of technology. Well, you know, yeah. There we have established a passport lodge, a medicine lodge dedicated to the shamanic tradition of magic, a hotel, a hospital, and a restaurant. Y y okay, um, we hate technology, but we got our own hotel, hospital, and restaurant. And we got payphones in the wilderness. There is also an orc embassy in the southwest corner of the island. Okay, thanks for the info. Sure thing, you just keep your nose and these lands clean. Okay, well, now that uh, we'll head back in, we'll get down to brass tacks. Tell me what you know about my brother Michael. You pull his hollow picks from your pocket and give a brief synopsis of the events leading up to Tabitha's murder. Um, I think I found out about... Yeah, I did find out about him after she got killed, so... Okay, so this isn't really a sequence break. Alfeather seems very disturbed by your story. I am sorry to hear of another senseless death. I fear I was of little help in her quest to find Michael's killers. Perhaps I, if I had been able to learn more, she would still be alive today. What have you learned so far? I have not made much progress. It seems a great amount of interest has been generated in our land lately, and many strangers have been visiting here. Your brother was one of them. 
After his death, Tabitha gave me many leads, all to no avail. Something has this, the people of this region scared into silence. Perhaps we need the help of one who knows more. Yeah, like who? Duh. If you require his help, I must first ask for yours. Oh, it didn't. I thought it was going to be me. If you are willing to perform a simple task, I will give you the name of someone who may further help you. What is this simple task you want me to do? Fuck 70 hellhounds without getting seared. Ironically, my own brother, Aragorn, <laughs> the former king who will one day return and reassemble the sword, left our own land two years ago and has never returned. We have not heard from him since he entered the sprawl to seek his fortune. Return Aragorn to me and I will help you. All right, thanks for the info, John. Sure thing, you just keep your nose and these lands clean. Okay, so now we got to figure out um, where Aragorn is. Okay. Uh, okay, I know where to go next. I, I, like I said before, I actually wrote down um, minor notes about how to uh, where to get everything going. And I just realized peeps be hurt, so... So let me do that real quick. Um, but uh, I gave that... I, I wrote all that down um, in order to uh, just kind of expedite things, just because I didn't want to be bumbling around uh, totally uselessly. Okay, so I need to go back to the payphone. I need to go the right way. Back across the bridge over the river of Jello. Oh, you never would believe where those Keebler cookies come from. They come from Tirton Gear. That's where all the elves are. Yeah, Game of Shadowrun once, um, I had an NPC insult an elf by telling her to get back in, the, in her tree and finish baking my cookies. Okay. Uh, where is it? I think it might actually be here. Yeah, see, even though I get free rides from the cab driver, I don't think I can use him to get into uh, the Sally Sheed or uh, Council Island without um, having a visa, and there's no real way to get a visa, because that's, that's the whole point of having Sharky around. A fluster woman passes by you. A moment later, a grungy man passes in pursuit of the woman. It appears he is some form of law official chasing a suspect. Hey, what's going on here? Lone Star undercover. On the ground now, punk or die. The Lone Star agent pulls a gun just as his backup appears. Fuck that noise. The Lone Star forces draw their weapons with well-trained efficiency. Let's just go ahead and add to that uh, you know, pitiful uh, bounty and three days in jail that I would serve. Well, yeah, that was a thing. Things happen there, certainly. I might be in the wrong place. That's matchsticks. I'm in the wrong section. I keep forgetting that you can't, unlike a lot of places, you can't walk to the... Um, um, the Penumbra District from downtown Seattle. Some of the places connect and some of them don't, and I occasionally lose track of which is which. And... 
What the ever fuck? Okay, well, I accidentally stumbled into it. Great. Everybody, get ready to sing. I want candy. I want candy. Oh, fuck it. You move into the booth. Bodyguards search for hidden weapons on your body. At bodies. Yeah. When they are satisfied, a voice speaks from the shadows. Well, what have we here? A shadow runner looking for work? I'm Mortimer Reed, and if you serve me well, we both can make a lot of new yen. Uh, I'm looking for some information. I hate to give anything away, so I am loath to discuss any information with you for free. But as it is the custom to do so, I will part with it begrudgingly. Meh. <laughs> However, I do know a valuable contact who I believe you could benefit from. I could impart you with the name for 1,500 new yen. I am pretty sure I have already done this. Let me just make sure. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, I need questions answered. If I could get on with this unprofitable business of free information, I am a busy man. Um, ever heard of Aragorn? Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, sorry about that. Let's see, last I heard he fragged a solo run against Mitsuhama. The corpse suits think he knows something, so they're holding him pending an interrogation. <laughs> I've got another question for you. Um... I don't remember if I asked about the other two people. Mako Sachu. Uh, sure, Mako is a Renraku man, used to be a project manager. I hear he's been in the doghouse lately, something to do with his project getting fouled up. Here he's been running up quite a tab at Club Penumbra since. Different subject. Um, okay. Yeah, we call him Strider. He insists on using the, sur the surname Hear You, but we won't have it. Okay, um, so I just realized something. If he's being held hostage at Mitsuhama, then uh, what I mentioned about when we finally do our first corp run, um, yeah, uh, this is uh, this is it. This is going to be our first run against a corporation. And this is, uh, this is going to be potentially pretty disastrous, so... Alright, so let me just take a look and see if I've got enough of what I think I'm going to need. Got the Maglock passkey, got the electronics kit. Um, Okay, Winston's the grenade man, so he gets those. Um, Freya is not yet the healer I want her to be. So I'm going to give Judith all of the uh, med kits. Okay. And what I said about shotguns before, I don't think I'm going to worry about it because Winston's the only one who really has a decent shotgun skill going. Yeah, like I have generic firearms, but I've been boosting up pistols more. Yeah, Freya got her sorcery way high up, so she's going to stick to spell casting. Oh, only problem is my electronics is pathetic. Okay, so I need to find a place to crash so I can spend some karma before I do this. Um, and specifically, I need to raise Judith's electronics because that's going to determine how much luck she has getting those electronic doors and safes open. 
even with an electronics kit and a maglock pass key, there's still a matter of her aptitude with it. Wiley's Gala Inn is a rather stark hotel in the center of the Penumbra District. While quite, quite safe to stay in, quite safe? Quite safe to stay in. It is rumored that the inn is owned and operated by the Mafia. Good evening, ma'am. Need a room for the night? Uh, just looking for a place to crash. 50 new yen for the room, assuming you don't steal anything from it. Otherwise, I'll have to charge you extra. He gives you a sly wink. Easy money. I'll pay. Hope you brought your own towels. I've been cleaned out this month. Enjoy your stay. Okay. Yeah, I held off on this for a while because I knew it wasn't going to be a uh, priority until corporating time came in. But that time has come. Okay, so hopefully that is going to be enough. Uh, let's see, Freya has a Karma of 9. Let's see, what was Juice Biotech? Okay. Let's see. Uh, damn it, that's too much. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm going to raise up her body, so hopefully she'll get hurt less. And Winston, he's got nine to work with. His quickness is as high as it's going to get. Um, should I raise up his pistols? Yeah, you know what? He, he's still able to do more damage over a longer period of time with the pistol than he is the shotgun. So I'm going to... No, I'm not. Uh, well, the shotgun could go up, um, but I don't know if that's really worth it. Oh, man. Um, crap in a basket. Uh, okay, you know what? Shotguns will go up, and he'll go in shotguns blazing. He has, uh, they said in one of the Shadowrun books, uh, say it with sabos. Now, where was Mitsuhama? That is not Mitsuhama. That is Gulorama. Up here we are. Okay. I just realized, I just realized another reason why I want uh, Winston to stick with the Predator, because it's silenced. And unless an alarm goes off and you need that extra power, uh, all a shotgun's going to do is alert everybody and their brother to the uh, fact that we're here. Okay. This is also my first ever time running against a corporation, so we will see. You wait until after hours and slip into Mitsuha Mitsuhama with the night cleaning crew. Hopefully Aragorn is still here. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, let's see. You find a terminal logged into the management database. Perhaps searching the computer will provide information. Hack the database. You root around for a bit, but find nothing of value. Okay. A security card spots you. Show me some ID, pal. You show the ID anyway as you passed. Okay, so the uh, fake IDs that were uh, bought from um, Max have already come in handy. Um, there are not flamethrowers in the... Um, 
the Genesis version of this. There are flamethrowers in the actual Shadowrun RPG. Um, they make them in both... Um... Well, shit. going very quickly to seed. Um, but uh, yeah, there are there are flamethrowers in the um, actual Shadowrun game, um, both uh, handheld and what they call bullpup design, where they uh, hook to the underside of a um, of a uh, larger rifle. User electronic skill. You jam through the system, shutting down the alarm system and the security cameras. Yay! Um, now, I don't honestly know if at some point they come back on. We will find out. Okay, no basement, so we will go to floor two. We will press start to exit, apparently. Did not know that was how it worked. Show me some ID. He checks your ID and calls dispatch to verify it. Uh-oh. Dispatch verifies his check and he waves you by. Okay. I think that uh, accidental uh, I, uh, alarm was my fault last time because I may have... Um, you find nothing. I may have accidentally uh, shot at him when I was trying to press the button to use a terminal. Okay, let's see what we get out of this. Into cyberspace we go. Oh my motherfuck, there is black ice right away. They, okay, how this system has got to be shitloads terrible if they put black ice on an input-output port. That's like one of the simplest parts of the system. Matrix Jack input-output port, red 6. I am very, very frightened. Okay, let's just hope we can crash this nice and quick. Yay, response increase. Security subprocessor unit, red 6, leave node. That's another SPU. Going to that data store is so tempting, but I need to find the CPU first. I'm probably going to have to loop back around to the data store. I did that in the ass-backwards order. Yeah, I need to stick with the medium attacks just to make sure it doesn't trigger on me. Executive area, subprocessor unit, red 5. Leave node. Okay, I have a clear path to the CPU, and we'll see how much I regret this. Black ice, not a surprise. Very tough to hit black ice. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. No, no, absolutely not. Yeah. 
I hate the fucking tar pits. Tar pits can suck all of my dicks. Actually, no, because then my dick would disappear afterwards, so no. Tar pits, you do not get anywhere near my dick. Okay, first thing, cancel alert. And by canceling the alert, I, um, I caused an alert. Okay, Mitsuhama Central Processing Unit, Red 7, go to Node. Holy shitballs! Oh my god, this system is massive. Okay, and I guarantee you somewhere in here is information on Aragorn that I gotta find. Oh, wow, this is... This is gonna be a pain in the ass. But, uh... We gotta do it. We're gonna check these data stores one by one and hope we get the right one. Okay, passcode accepted. That ice is negated. Project Files Data Store. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave this alone for the moment. The, because the thing is, when I find the data file about Aragorn, it's going to be very obvious. It's going to be like the first thing that pops up. Management Files Data Store. Okay. All right, let's leave Node, go back to the CPU. Uh, tar pits are um, programs that are included with uh, any program that has an active al alert on it. Basically, if you fail to operate the Node successfully, like you don't get an attack off, the tar pit activates, it destroys itself, and along with it, it destroys um, the program you were using. Now, there's a lesser one that's called Tar Paper or Tar Baby that will destroy just the active copy, like the copy in RAM. Um, tar Pit destroys the copy that's in your cyber deck. It will destroy it completely. And that means if you had, like, an, what I have, like an attack 7, and it takes the attack out, you have no means of fighting in the Matrix anymore until you replace that program, and you have to start at 1. Yes. So that's why I said like a long time ago, um, I don't care, you know, what the other, uh, any of the other uh, creatures are like, or monsters, or whatever, or people. Um, tar pits are the uh, worst thing. In the, in the Shadowrun RPG, you can actually have offline backups. In this, you can't. Okay. This is good. I keep uh, data routing processors, subprocessor unit orange 5. Okay, let's keep going. The good thing is, once I've suppressed these uh, ice one way or another, I don't have to do it again. Okay. Deception 8 is a wonderful thing. It can get you out of so much trouble. Building maintenance subprocessor unit orange four. Leave node. Okay, I want to go over here and start seeing what I can see with this. Okay. Yeah, but in the Shadowrun RPG, they're not as bad. Um, conversely, though, in the Genesis RPG um, of Shadowrun. Black Ice is not nearly as threatening because there is no permadeath in this. You just get knocked out and revived at the hospital. In the Shadowrun RPG game, Black Death or Black Ice, Black Ice can kill you. 
black ice can literally fry your brain and kill you. Okay. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to backtrack to the CPU so I can uh, shut that alert off. Oh, right. <laughs> I lost track of where I was. The good thing is, once I get to the CPU, um, I can go anywhere I want in the system, which means I can go into the um, data store that I didn't check and bypass the other um, SPUs. Cancel the alert. And again, cancel the alert. And that's where I want to go. Okay, this is a blaster. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is a killer. This just tries to d damage the Persona and um, knock you out of the Matrix. Security files. Browsing the data store, you find an interesting file that you download to your notebook. Huh. I wonder if that's the file I need. But you know what? We're going to check the other data stores just to be safe. It can't be that good a porn. It's only behind an orange uh, uh, protection. The, real, the really good stuff would be behind the red. Hundred and forty-five. Damn! Now I'll need a fake ID to rent ultra porn. <laughs> okay. Uh. Let's go ahead and try this one first, since we can go immediately back to the CPU if uh, things go sideways. Okay, well, I failed to operate the node. Oh, no, I just missed, so it could st there could still be a tar pit there. But it doesn't freaking matter. Okay, let's go back and um, shut that down. Hmm. I'll double check something real quick. There's supposed to be a um, something related to a side run that involved getting clues from the systems of the uh, six megacorp corps in this game. Um, and I don't know if that's what I might have just gotten. The thing is, I won't know until I jack out and take a look at the journal. 
or take a look at the pocket secretary. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to jack out and um, find out it's not because then I'll lose all the progress I've made in here since I've already got a bunch of the ice suppressed. And just spam, keep uh, spamming that quick attack. Confidential data. Confidential though. Browsing the data store, you find an interesting file that you download to your notebook. Blackmail information? Holy shit, yes. Let's try one more time here. Shadowrun information, okay. Uh, okay. Hello, warrior, welcome. Good to see you. Really? Is it was a Shadowrun or something else? Oh, Pathfinder. Okay. I don't know. You could have dungeons in Shadowrun. You know, somebody's S and M palace. That reminds me, actually, I had an a um, idea for a Shadowrun. I never did, but um, the the basis of it, basis of it was from a movie called the um, the Belko Experiment. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. So I had no alerts. I said to cancel an alert. And by running the diagnostics for the alert that I didn't have, I caused an alert. Well, wow. oh, for God's sakes. I am just a, a pile of special. Um, but the idea behind the Belco experiment was a, um, a bunch of people uh, in an office building were uh, locked in and... Um, uh, told by a millionaire that the um, last surviving person was going to get like three million dollars or something like that. Uh, so it was a um, experiment to see basically not just would they turn on each other, but how quickly would they turn on each other. Um, and I had an idea with that, um, basically with an executive that was going to pay the shadow runners to uh, break into the building and get him out. Like he did, like he didn't give a shit if he he got the money. He he was just like the obnoxious boss that everybody hated, and he knew like as soon as that happened, he'd have to hole up in his uh in his office and you know pray that no one got in. So he so. He just like would reach out to the shadow runners and say, "Get me the fuck out of here." Okay, neat. I love deception. Okay, system files. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Apparently not. Yeah. Uh, competition data store. Hmm. Competitor marketing. Okay, I think I'm going to go back up to that database in the right corner. Because I seem to remember skipping over it at first. Uh, 
Um, well, Warrior, I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been the old um, D&D thing of parry, 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 parry. Strike team orders, okay. Let's see where we are on the storage. Okay, we're full up on the storage. Okay. What I am going to do... I am going to leave the node and go back to the CPU. I am going to lay down a separate save state that will allow me to come back here just in case I don't have what I wanted. And then I am going to go back to the main save state and I am going to crash the computer, which will shut down alarms, it will shut down um, the maglock doors, it will shut down the cameras, everything. I think, I think it might even... Um, I think it might even keep the safes open. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna do save there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the backup save on slot eight. Backup to nine, okay. And initiating system shutdown in three, two, one, zero. Okay, now let's take a look at the pocket secretary. Tips and clues. Well, this was last report in Seattle. Mitsuhama to fail shower run. Marku. Okay, I think that's one we had before. A number lately. Okay, to all concerned, from head of security Mitsuhama. We had a break-in. Perp was a lone male Amer Amer Indian. We have neutralized him and are holding him for questioning. We will detain him until he tells us what we want to know. Um, from As Technology to Mitsuhama, Newsnet data. Nuclear winter for Bismarck, North Dakota after reactor mishap. Passcode. Yeah, the... the Okay, so apparently I can get these without having the actual runs. Um, well, hey, it's a corp. What do you want? Um, yeah, there's a side run involving a nuclear reactor, and in order to get the passcode, you need to make runs on the six corps. And by the time you do that, you get the um, entirety of the password. And I think I think um, having Caleb give you the run just makes it a little bit easier because that actually gives you the um, the password to get into the system. Okay. You're not currently engaged in shatter on says you. All right. I think that's what I need. Show me some ID. Show me the ID, ways and past. I'll check back up here. Opening the safe, you find 150 new yen. You find nothing. Yeah, the one safe when you open it, it said it's fun to play the Goonies too. You find nothing. You find a football helmet. And now punch an old lady for it. Okay. 
Yeah, th this is why Max is an extremely important contact. Getting those corp badges will save you a ton of fighting. And sadly, I, I kind of have to run around in dead end here every once in a while. Because I don't have a map to this place. I mean, I'm sure there's one online, but I personally don't. You find nothing. Boy, Mitsuhama sure likes to uh, protect their non-valuables. Welp. You jammed through the system, shutting down the alarm system and the security cameras. I just I, I hit escape. Two hundred new yen. Considering at one point I had a million new yen from breaking into uh, Matrix systems, that's uh, some piddly little shit. Oh man, all the ice reset itself. Okay. Alright, well no big deal. I'm just going to jack out. That was not premature. I knew exactly when to jack out. Show me some ID. Uh huh. I think I may need to hit the uh, third floor if there is one. I don't seem to be finding. Well, let me check this way. No. Oh, there is some way over there. Or maybe there isn't. Check down here. No. Uh, Warrior, this is starting to remind you of um, the party in your game a bit. Okay, I think that's the... Yeah, and I've been there. Yeah, I think uh, probably the best thing to do is hit the elevator. Holy shit, there's a lot of floors in this building. You look down and notice you are about to step on a concealed security plate. You quickly jump over the plate, avoiding an alert. Everyone including the troll, I imagine. Fifty. 
What the hell? Ah, shit. And that all there doesn't work. Fuck, even the future nothing works. place where I can shut this goddamn thing off. Uh, that isn't it. Let's just keep robbing the safes. Nothing. You find nothing. Corporation with millions of dollars of assets and nothing in their safes. Are we missing somebody? Where the fuck is Winston? <laughs> God damn it! Get your burly ass over here. I don't I don't know. I think Freya might have gotten lost too earlier. Jam through the system, shutting down the alarm cameras and the security cameras. You also find files that suggest you should search fifth floor. Says you search fifth floor. Need articles, nah. Concealed security plate. Jump over the plate. Two hundred fifty. We're actually getting somewhere, folks. So let's see about the fifth floor. Get back to the elevator. I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip the fourth floor. If I don't find what I want up here, then, you know, we can always head down. Or 50 and nothing okay there how many alerts have there been and yet people are still fooled by you know hey okay is your idea okay yeah you're supposed to be here anyways you passed okay go on into the safe Beep, 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 beep. You find nothing? I would be very find it very funny if Aragorn is actually in one of these safes. This like folded him down. Okay, cool. 150. You have uh, finished up all the um, 
peppermint and chocolate chip cookies the that produced the uh, Shura cookie. Um, and I'm still working through the um, chocolate uh, peppermint bark. Uh, but it's still uh, pretty good. Yeah, still quite edible and still quite enjoyable. Walking into the room, you startle Aragorn to his feet. Why was he just in the office? His eyes search the room frenetically. Frenetically? Okay, for an escape before focusing on you. His brow furrows in punishment as he realizes you aren't his tormentors. I'm gonna get you out of here, chum. Aragorn's puzzlement turns instantly to anger. I don't need your help, foreigner. And with that, Aragorn runs from the room with adrenalized speed. Well, I, I'm, I'm very, very glad that uh, I was able to help. Well, you know, fuck it. As long as I'm here... As long as I'm here, I might as well try to uh, loot the place a little more. <laughs> I'm standing damn near where Aragorn was, and I'm something he—I'm someone he doesn't recognize. And he's just like, "Hey, you gotta see your ID." Yeah, all right, go ahead. Clearly, nothing's wrong here. I mean, for God's sakes. The company man walks up and flicks a toothpick at you. Walk away. He saunters away. Geraldo Rivera. What the hell was that that I just picked up? Grenades. <laughs> so, they left grenades behind. And illegal grenades at that. Okay, well there you go, Winston, more toys. I'm very glad that Winston doesn't actually use them on his own without prompting. Because that would that would be some um now it'd be some seriously heinous giveaway stuff. I kind of wish they'd put more than just random amounts of money in here, too. Well, the Shadow Run's done. I mean, it's now a matter of just getting out of here, so... I say we hit the fourth floor, pillage that, and, um, you know, call it a... Call it good fight, good night. I still feel like there's something I'm missing in those uh, other areas, but, uh, you know, damned if I know. It's, there's been a couple of interesting things, it said, that I found in the, um, the terminals and such. I just don't want to like, miss anything of significance. You know, on the off chance there's something else of, of note here. And we'll stay on the fourth floor. Yeah, I would like to note, um, if I didn't earlier, that um, in all my time of playing this game, this is my first time I did a physical corp run. And uh, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. And uh, this has turned out uh, relatively well, though I imagine a lot of that has to do with the um, incredible amount of stuff that I've equipped myself with. I do think uh, boosting up my electronic skill um, is a good idea. Okay, it looks like they're reusing the floor plan from one of the other floors. Yeah, you all go on ahead. I swear those things looked like prison cells to me. Like, I was expecting Aragorn to be in one of them. You find nothing. Hmm. 
You know what, actually, Warrior, you might have a point. That might actually be how I get to some of those areas that didn't seem to um, have a way in. So, yeah, I think it's worth a, little, a quick little experiment. Everybody's inventory is full. Holy shit. I want to see what this thing is that got dropped. Security 500 light pistol. Shitty pistol! That's what it is. Now the question is, can I find the uh, thing again? I think it was through here. Yeah. Yeah, they're 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 crap in Shadowrun and they're the RPG. Hey, warrior, awesome call. Thank you so much. Um. Uh, but yeah, they're um, they're crap in the RPG too. I remember it may have been that, or it may have been another pistol. Um, and basically the person's description of it. Um. You find a terminal logged into the management database, perhaps searching the computer will provide information. Hack the database. You need to search the fifth floor. We already knew that. Um, but yeah, their uh, response to it was great. Now I can flatten light armor, light uh, pistol ammo against body armor faster than ever before. Okay, I think this was something that I had already uh I had already seen. Show me some ID, pal. I'm Dick Gumshoe. Freya. Where the hell are you, Freya? Now, Winston, where the fuck are you? God damn it. Everybody stay together. Remember who your buddy is. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and just get the fuck out of this place. Oh, there was an overhead camera. Well, this is something I definitely don't remember. Don't split the party is uh, good advice anytime. Oh, are you kidding me? A scientist walk, walks by deep in thought. 
Oh, I wonder how this will go. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Good day. Okay, well, could have gone worse, I suppose. I actually do have to go to the second floor because I can't reach uh, the outside from this... Uh, Damn it, no. Mid-price chain restaurant. So, so like, on the way out, you uh, shoot uh, the big boy statue in the face because you think he's going to narc on you to, to uh, the Lone Star? I don't remember how many of these safes I've already uh, opened and which I haven't. There we go. Well, my first successful run of a corporation, what do you know? Robbing a Red Lobster. Now, now here's the real question. Um, did they make off with any Cheddar Biscuits? And if so, um, did they wait until they were stale and throw them at Hellhounds? Oh, bye, Fivers. Yeah, you all are not shit compared to what I just did, so fuck off. Fuck off seven ways all, y'all. There's a solution to uh, your inventory space problems. Uh, when you need uh, inventory space, get someone hurt. What did I pick up? I picked up grenades. <laughs> I picked up fucking grenades. There's a vid phone around here somewhere. There we go. Okay, that might be where they link up. But uh, the reason why, um, I want to go to uh, um, Roscoe's here. Howdy, name's Roscoe. My biz is buying info and selling it off to the highest bidder. You got any data for me, partner, and I'll gladly give you a fair deal. I've got some data I'd like to sell. Hopefully this is worth something. He gestures to the terminal on his desk. Well, hook your deck on up to my old hog here and we'll get down to biz. Blackmail information, it's useless. I'll let that sink in for a second. Shattering information, it's useless. Competitor marketing. Okay, okay. How the hell... Um... How in the fuck... Competitor marketing basically amounts to, um, I, hey, look, I picked up the Sunday paper. Here's their ad. How is that more useful than, you know, blackmail material on Shadowrun? Oh, shit. Okay, now we got blackmail information that's worth something. Strike team orders, okay. All right, well, I got some pay data out of it. That works. And let me double check the pocket secretary again. Uh, you freed Aragorn from Mitsuhama, who then ran off without any thanks. Ungrateful wretch. Maybe Alfelder will give you the name of his friend anyway. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Denise Burr. Okay, so apparently the other thing was just about um, the actual uh, run and containment itself, just to confirm it was there. And then this is the um, thing from Mass Technology. Okay. So I think what I will do, I will. No, I don't want to... Yeah, I want to call Sharky. I need to get into the Sally Sheed. Okay. Um, I want to go ahead and get set up so I can talk to uh, Alfeather uh, the next time around. I'm just going to go ahead and get there. I'm not going to do it now. Uh, hello. You too? You want to come along? Play too? I just want to see something really quick. How, uh... Oh, I got some karma for that. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save. And, um... That's where we will, uh, pick it up. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Successful Shadowrun. Advanced the plot. Got some stuff done. I call that a good order. Good, uh, good night's work.